Hello, this is Doug Stroud of Performer Apps, where I am an LN Logistics Consultant. Today I would like to discuss with you the new functionality in LN 10.4 for Excel export and import functionality. And specifically today I want to talk about exporting and importing text. To do this, in this example, I'm going to use the item sales data. So I'm going to open that up. Then I'm going to go to the Excel menu for exporting and I'm going to actually go into fields to be exported and I've already gone through the actions and deselected everything so what I'm going to do instead of selecting all the fields I'm going to only select specific fields so I'll come over to the item record field I want to do a select for export and then I want to do the child field which is the item description and at the bottom I want to go down and right mouse click and select the text so you'll know that the item code and description and text have been selected and I do a save and exit I get the pop-up saying hey this has been changed so you, you know you need to restart your session so I click OK I close the session and I reopen it now what I'm going to do is let you notice that the item first item here has text I'm going to select a couple of records to be exported okay then I'm going to go up to my Excel export and I'm going to click the export and it, the fields I'm going to instead of saying current tab I'm going to say pre-defined set and again remember that'll be my item in the description and I'm going to do an export notice it's doing four records and it created me a temp file that I can now open that will show you the, the data and notice it put item sales text here and it listed the one that actually had text normally what I would do is have you enter text but since I have an example already set up I'm going to use it so if I go over and open my item sales with text you'll notice that I have the different records with text in it and this item on item battery B I've actually added multiple lines okay so I close that I return I'm going to uncheck all the fields, so I'm going to say none. Now, nothing's checked. I'm going to go up to my Excel process, and I'm going to do import. And on the import here, I, I'm going to, it's going to replace or append the text, and you can do re replace or append. I'm going to do replace. I'm going to click the import button, and it comes and says, okay, what file do you want to upload? I'm going to browse off. I'm going to pick my item sales text that I showed you earlier and I'm going to say OK. Now you'll notice it's importing the records. OK. And it created me a file down here. And you'll notice now that these items all have text. And if I actually select this one record here and I go to the text, you'll notice it has the three lines of text that I had in the spreadsheet. Now, one of the things I did in a spreadsheet that I didn't tell you about because I wanted to save it for now is that when I opened it, I had actually added an item that wasn't in the file. So I got an OK for the records that existed because it said it's OK. It imported them correctly. I got an error here, and you'll notice that it gave me a code. It says specific item not found in items general. Enter another item. So it gave me an error, just like if you were manually trying to insert a record into the table. So with that being said, this is how you know whether you were successful. If you're successful, you'll have the OKs in green. If you're unsuccessful, you'll have the error in red telling you that you were not successful in doing your import. OK, so let's close it. Let's go back over. Now let's actually, like I said, you saw the item text there. Let's go check the last one. So let's uncheck this, check this one. Go look at the text, and you'll notice that this just says it's a battery E sales data. So with this example, I was able to export a file out with the part number and the description, and if it had text, it exported it out, and then I was able to import text back in so that I could load it into the system. Now, this concludes today's exercise, but I want you to understand that you could use this Excel import for doing a lot of files under the definition of how the structure of the layout is. In other words, since this is a list record, I can do an export and import of all the records. But for certain things like a bill of material, 
I would only be able to import and export information for a single item at a time. And this is because of how the export import has been defined currently. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me, and I hope you have a nice day. Goodbye.